downtown and in the rally. To come yeah, I, I think um, we showed a will to win, which is good. Um, we made the plays we had to make down the stretch. We made the free throws down the stretch. James Young just fought like crazy. He came up with balls when we were dead. If they got those balls, we would lose. And that's why I looked at the other guys and I say, fight like he's fighting. But I thought Andrew made the plays and it's nice to know we got two or three guys now we can go to if the game is in the balance. And this is a game we needed. I mean, it's just, the question we all have is, if you can play this way, down against Michigan State, down against Cleveland State, and then play the way you just played, why don't you start that way? Why won't you say we're going to play? That's going to be who we are, not just being down. So it's just you know, it's, I was like not. I mean, I always call them. If we lost, we lost. I was say, hey, that's where it is. You know, one one of the things I want to say is uh, we got to have the greatest fans, the classiest fans uh, anywhere where they give a standing ovation to Cleveland State as they walk off the court. Now you think about that. I want to know what other arena would, that would happen. Um, because they enjoy basketball. They enjoy the challenge. And I'm telling you, we were down 10 and I kept saying, these guys are pretty good now. What happens is they're well coached, so their their scores shoot the ball. The other guys don't shoot that, but those scores are going to shoot the ball. And they run stuff to put those kids in position and their rebounders run at the rim. So if those shooters miss, they go get it. So if one guy breaks down, they're getting baskets. And I, I thought, you know, um, they played well and, and played well enough to win the game. We were lucky to get out. And But it's a game we needed. We needed, okay, are you ready to start changing? Are you ready? Because if you're not, you know, we're going to play other people and you're going to get down. You're not coming back to win. So you can either start games and in play, but we will see. John, two things. The way you saw Andrew play down the stretch, is that changing in the way that you wanted from him? And then two, you were calm. You did a pretty good job of disguising it during the game. You didn't look too calm during the game. I was. I mean, I know when I'm like, I wasn't. And, and the, the main thing is, this is a process of getting this team to change how they approach the games, how they think about the games, their mentality of the games. And the only way that can change sometimes is a crisis. So you got to get beat and you got to lose. Not to a Michigan State where you come back and almost win and you think you're okay. All right. You know, Cleveland State now, they, they deserve to win this game. But you guys fought the last seven minutes, down seven and played. Um, so, you know, the, these, these are good experiences for a young team. And also, we got to learn. Who, who can we go to late? Who's going to panic? Who's going to be scared to death? Aaron, that three in the corner that Aaron made, kind of ended the game. Had to do it. Um, making free throws, who can make them down the stretch? Who can make the plays? Who's not afraid to make plays? I told him after the game, you don't worry about losing. You play to win. And that's how I try to coach. I'm never thinking that we're losing. My whole mentality is we're going to win. How are we going to win? Not what, I never, losing doesn't enter my mind until the horn goes off and I look up and I say, dang, they got us. John, not just will to win. How much of tonight was a maturation process for a team that young? Well, it was. I mean, we had to do some things against the zone that, you know, again, they played a, a funky zone, a 1-1-3 a one, one, zone, and they kind of guarded different people. And then it looked at one point like they went to a box and one. Whatever they did, they took James Young away. So whether it was a box on him or not, and I'm trying to, you know, again, I may call a man-to-man -man play against the zone. Run it. It'll work. They're looking at me. That's a man play. It doesn't matter. But it's all stuff that again, tells me we're still growing. Coach, Andrew tonight uh, not only played well down the stretch, he showed a lot of emotion and uh, body language. Did he kind of grow up tonight in a way? Yeah, but it's still like these guys, when they don't have the ball, are not in a position to play. He and Aaron both. So he's catching it, and I'm screaming, drive that, drive. Then he drives and he makes that play. Well, that can't be how this is. This is, he catches it, he knows he's a playmaker for us. Get in there. Um, and, and I thought again, 
you know, uh, Julius missed some shots, and again, we got a little confused in the zone. But, you know, five turnovers, I still, you know, it's a lot of rough stuff going on. Again, the point is, if the offense created it, so if a guard drives in and creates it, it's the same. It's not a foul. You don't call it. Hands go up and you created it, they're saying that's not a foul. Okay, don't call it that. But if you're telling me that's what Julius is, then anytime a guy leans and there's contact, should be no call. So he's, he's still, they're coming at him with three. He needs to pass the ball. Um, he's still learning that. Um, but if they're bringing three at him, these other, these other guys are so wide open, it should be easy for us. But it's right now, we're still trying to figure it out. John, um, when you guys were down 11, you called time in the second half, and then it ended with James shooting a three. Was that what you were looking for there? Because I thought you'd go to Randall. No, we, we were running, again, we changed, there was a couple times we went to Randall three straight times, and then we did another play. And the reason I did the other play was because they gotta be talking about that one thing, let's go to something different. But no, we came out, that was, uh, now maybe he didn't have a three, maybe it would have been a post up, maybe it had been something different, but James Young, yeah. We came out and that was a, that was a set. Kyle, you talked a little bit yeah. about this, but, but how concerned are you at this point with all the good things he does, the turnovers for Julius, I think he's got, like 24 turnovers, you got almost twice as many as anybody else on the team. What, what do you sort of approach, how do you approach that with him? You know, pass it a little bit, stop turning it over, but keep getting those double doubles, they're really nice. Cal, <laughs> Cal, <laughs> back here. Uh, Coach Waters debunked the age, kind of age old philosophy or theory that, uh, that you uh, have to lose to learn. He, he said you don't, you don't believe in that. What's your theory on that? I'd rather be a close win. But sometimes it comes to a point you have no choice, you've got to take an L. But I think, again, uh, close wins are better learning experiences. And I just hope they understand that you can't start games like we're starting. You can't. You've got to come out of the gate ready to go and get somebody down 15 nothing, And not because they missed shots, because you played the right way. Um, making easy plays, giving it up early. We're still not a good team. We're just not. I keep telling them. They, Rock came in at halftime and we're talking and he just said they don't talk to each other out in the court. They're all into their own thing. And when you're into your own thing, it's really hard to play basketball. But that's, they're, they're young. I mean, it's what we're fighting. It's what we're battling. We just had three days, I'm telling you, I went back to old school UMass stuff that I did. Alex had his heart rate up to 90% for the first time since I've coached him. So, we're doing things to just make them work harder so they understand what it feels like, that their legs are burning. Really, it's supposed to do that. Nothing's wrong with that. So we're, it's just a process. Probably should have done that from day one, but until you figure out your team, you just don't know. You have Eastern Michigan on Wednesday, who actually beat Cleveland State, and then- And State. beat Robert Morris and beat Arlington and beat, they're like five and all. Then it's like they're gonna play 40 minutes of zone. The schedule really, you know, kind of gets tough as you get away from Rupp Arena. Have you made it clear to your team that they're not playing popcorn state anymore? We haven't, I knew this game. The good news is other than Michigan State, we kind of built them up. And now Mich Eastern Michigan is the next step. And then when we go farther, every other team takes us to another level. And if you have letdowns like we've had, um, and again, let, let's be real. Cleveland State took advantage of everything we did wrong. They did. Then they missed some shots. We rebounded. We made it a little tougher. We, how about the straight line drives? Julius goes up and guards the guy, and the guy goes directly from him to the basket. Not, well, you can't. What do you, I'm in the timeout. What do you want us to do? That's your man. Guard him. Um, but, you know, again, we're, we are what we are. We're very young. I was not, as the game wound down, I was good one way or another. I don't want to lose any games. But if we didn't fight, then we were going to learn. And we fought, which was a good thing. We learned about our team. Um, but again, we, we, we can't, you can't let a team come out and have way more emotion than you. You just can't. This is not about who's cool, who looks the coolest. It's not, this is, 
right, who wants this the most when the ball is thrown up? And that's what we got to have. John, is it absurd to think Julius could get a double-double every game this year? Yeah, it is, but I'd like him to try to. Um, you know, I'd like him to go out there and do it. You can. Um, they're trapping him. They're being really physical. They're whacking down. They're doing stuff. He's got to play through. And if three guys come, he's got to pass. You just got to pass. You can't. You're not getting that to the rim. And it's got to be a quick read. It can't be a hold, 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 and then throw. Just get rid of it. We'll get it to the other side of the court and let those guys make plays. We can always get it back to you and post you again. It's all stuff we're learning. But again, you know, these guys are trying to feel their way. Um, I'm trying to make it as hard as I can in practice now to make it a, the game's a little bit easier. But obviously, it didn't work. Coach, Marcus Lee was in the starting lineup again tonight. Only played four minutes. I'm wondering, does he just not, was he not fitting in with this game? Got or? scored on and didn't rebound. Got scored on right away, played behind a guy. We had talked to him, you're getting three quarters. He played behind, scored on. Uh, Willie's playing well. I wanted to give Dakari a chance, but Dakari didn't rebound the ball either. Neither one of them. Willie made things happen. Um, we were trying to throw lobs to Dakari. You know, he just he fell on the floor one, one time, he didn't jump that. I mean, that's how, you know that's how we play. And again, you got to have lively legs, and Willie, of the three of them today, Willie was the best, so he played the most minutes. Now, there may be other times, he played 30 today. There may be another time that it's Dakari or it's Marcus Lee, and that's what's great about having three of them. Last question. Uh, John, Coach Waters credited the crowd for helping a young team sort of pull through when things got a little shaky. How much credit do you give them? Yeah, you know what's funny? I, as I watched Cleveland State, they were so jacked up to be playing this game and have an opportunity to beat a ranked team. And I looked around and I told John, look, they're excited. He said, look around. Wouldn't you be excited as a player to play in this kind of a venue? I mean, it's 25,000 people going nuts. You nut, this is, this is what it is. But here's what our guys don't understand. Every team that comes in here has that same feeling. And our guys, they, you just got to understand that. That if you don't come in emotionally, mentally, you're passionate about how you're playing, you, you're going to be down against good teams. They're going to come in and try to kill you. So, but th it was a great crowd. Again, let me say this. Classy, classy move by our fans, giving them a standing ovation because they deserved it. Um, and I'm never, I, I, they never cease to amaze me, our fans. Yeah, they're into basketball. Yeah, they're watching the tape three times, all that other stuff. But they're classy about what they do. Thanks.